Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is Bright Moon, my name is Carly. Um, and I tell you everything you need to know about dispatching freight. I've been gone for a couple weeks, y'all. I, I do apologize about that. It's been a lot going on. On top of um, not feeling too well, I'm actually working on something for y'all. I'm, I'm working on something for you guys. A lot of people are asking me about consulting. I'm gonna have to find some time to uh, put aside for that. But I'm working on something for you guys. Just just stay tuned for that. Anyway, in this video, I wanted to tell you about how you can get to the FMCSA directory because that's the question that a lot of people are actually asking me since I've been gone. Most people have been um, reaching out to me in various ways, asking me how to get to the FMCSA directory so that they can get carriers to call um, and solicit their business to, sell your business to, and see if they need help um, finding loads. So, literally, this is how I remember to get to the FMCSA all the time. I know it's, it's, this is just the easiest way to do it for me. You literally type in Google, and I'm going to pop up a video in here so I can show you. But you literally just uh, type in uh, FMCSA licensing and insurance, and um, it should be the first link. I'm going to insert the video so you can see it here, but um, you can do it from a computer as well. But I really do most things for my phone. So just uh, for the sake of being able to show you guys how to access it on your own, um, I just did it from my phone and screen recorded it and just added, in, added it in here so you can see it. Yes, so as you can see, I'm uh, actually just typing in FMCSA licensing and insurance. It pops up right here at the top. Usually it just pops up at the top. It's the first link. You click on that. It pulls up this screen uh, at the top right hand corner. You see the drop down button. Click that. Um, click on FMCSA register. And then once you click on FMCSA register, um, you should see some links pop up here in a second. So these PDF reports all have the uh, carrier's information in them. So once it pops up, this is, uh, once you click on the PDF, this is what it should look like. Um, and you just really keep scrolling down. This is the way I was taught to do it. You keep scrolling down to this non-fitness area right here. In the top left-hand corner, you should see it say non-fitness. And um, you copy and paste these MC numbers right here. You see MC, um, copy and paste the number only into this next page right here. So you can create a duplicate page or you can go back to the FMCSA licensing page. Click on that drop down menu again, click carrier search. And then you should be able to search and see if these people ha have active businesses. So you, um, before you call them because you don't want to waste your time right so copy and paste that mc number that you um got from that last page and we're gonna search and see what this carrier is talking about so uh this should pull up the carrier's information here you can click on html that'll pull up their um basically all their information as you can see it tells you that their authority is active This carrier also has insurance on file, as you can see at the bottom. I'm going to insert some pictures so I can show you in detail. So this is the authority status right here. As you can see, it says active. So they're good to go on that. The insurance required is a million dollars. The insurance on file is a million dollars. So that's good. I also like to know they have a BOC3 filing form. It says yes. So I will call this carrier. Um, it's going to let you know if they are active because you don't want to waste your time. It's already hard enough when you're a new dispatcher. You you nervous about calling these people. And on top of that, you're calling the wrong people. And sometimes when uh, these people are applying for these MC numbers, they're not always active. So you don't want to waste your time calling somebody that just applied and you know they don't even have a truck yet and some of them might not even get a truck some of you know you never know so anyway that's why it's important for you to um, make sure they're active and this process will show you how to do that okay so now that you have um, that done you have your list you've gone through and you've uh, made sure each one of those are active you can, I mean, it's your business. Do it how you want to do it. But call all of those people. You can compile a list or you can just call um, as you go. You could do a script, but to be honest with you, um, a lot of these drivers don't like hearing. I mean, people can tell when you read them from scripts. So 
just try to be as authentic as possible and remember these people are on the road they are like they're they're busy try to keep it succinct if you can just be respectful of their time okay just try your best to be respectful of their time because a lot of the times it's a lot going on in these trucks y'all to be in the middle of like one of the hardest maneuvers in your life as a driver and a dispatcher is calling you you know and they're trying to keep you on the phone for a long time it can be kind of frustrating so to avoid that for yourself and for them just try to be quick um and yeah so good luck that's how you guys find carriers on um the fmcsa directory